Your heart can be your enemy. Your heart can be your enemy. Okay? So when you hear people say, uh, follow your heart, don't. Your heart is like a uh, um, like an eye cloud, like a storage. It stores. It can store bitterness. It can store uh, covetedness. It can store jealousy. It can store offense. Um, your heart is not just a place of goodness. Okay, your heart is not only a place of goodness. People say, oh, they have a good heart or all oh, they have. The... There's good parts of your heart. Okay, there are things in your heart that can motivate you for good. But the Bible says that your heart is deceitful and wicked above all things who can know who can really know your heart but God okay you don't even know your heart I don't know my heart that's why we can ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to me what's in my heart what do I need to get uproot from my heart things that don't belong in my heart we can ask God to remove it in the name of Jesus there are things in our heart that are stored there that God will literally put you in situations in your life to reveal what's in your heart. And I started to see this once I got saved. I started noticing there are things in my heart that don't belong there. Okay? There was unforgiveness. There was lust. Okay? There was, uh, I had a love for manipulating men. Okay, I had a love for for ecstasy. I had a love for sex. I had a love. All these things were in my heart. And my heart convinced me that I needed these things. I didn't need those things. My heart almost sent me to hell. It almost convinced me that I had. Why do you want to know why it's your enemy? Because it's flesh. It's flesh. It's made of flesh. So trust God, not your heart. Trust God. Trust the Holy Spirit, not your heart. Okay? Seriously, y'all. This misconception has got to cease. Your heart stores things. It doesn't only store the love for your children or love for your family members, but it stores things like bitterness, unforgiveness, perversion. It stores things like addiction to certain substances, obsession to different things you shouldn't be obsessed with. You shouldn't be obsessed with anything but God. This is what's in our heart, guys. So we have to take our heart and hand it to God and say, God, change my heart remove things that are rooted in my heart that need to be uprooted from me lord show me my heart show me what's in there not just the love for my family or the love for my favorite food but lord show me what's in my heart that you no longer want to be a part of me okay selena gomez had a song called the heart wants what it wants and that song is is a secular song, but th- think about that. The heart wants what it wants. And a lot of times it wants what's not good for you. The heart wants what it don't need. I'm serious, y'all. Your heart can be your enemy if it's not surrendered to God. And even then, you still have to fight. You still have to constantly present it to the Lord to uproot and to sanctify so you're not following that and that you're not following your heart you're following Jesus you're following the Holy Spirit you're yielding to the Holy Spirit that just came up out of me I don't know who it's for I know it's for me first always but that just came up out of me and I pray it bless somebody today okay God bless y'all